What are you little ones doing? How cold is it today? Cold. Cold. Well, we got things to do outside today, so one of the tricks is to have an outdoor fire. I don't even know what degree it is. I think it was nine when I woke up. I'll have to check. That might have not been a local forecast. What's that, baby girl? Yeah, the dog's over there playing, huh? So we can warm up by that fire rather than disrobing all our crusty winter stuff with my mustache and uh, going in the house. But we're kind of fighting against the cold here. So I've got some ideas. So here we got a three-year-old and a one-year-old carrying over some cedar branches. They're gonna put those near the fire, right? And then we'll uh, use those to stay warm. What happened here, I've got a project coming up where I need some big cedar trees. And I chopped down this one here behind me and the sheep ate all the green off the lower stuff. So we use that as something that they can munch on because they like it. They clean them up, then we'll light them on a fire and uh, I'll chop down all these and then my post will be clear for later. But today, it's getting cold. I was watching a, a buddy of mine, one of his ewes was lambing last night and we know we got one close. Actually, she's this one right here. This brown one outside here is the one that's close. She'll probably be first. She's a Shetland Finn ewe that was bred by Jacob back there. The rest of these are pretty much Jacob sheep except for her sister. Yeah. <laughs> Shiva. Don't eat it. I didn't even notice that at first. Sit. Sit. But we got some lambs coming in soon. Yeah. And for that reason, we got a lot of fresh uh, straw. And then also we've been giving them the hay in here. And one thing I've been wondering for a while is if I should keep this open like this behind me or if I should cover it. If I keep it open, it's got better ventilation, right? If I cover it, it doesn't, but it's got more insulation. So I think I'm gonna start with the side behind me. And we're actually gonna put the battens over these boards. And that's just part of observation. Um, a lot of times it wouldn't necessarily uh, need to. And I'm thinking of doing a lean-to off that side and a lean-to off that side anyway. Um, but it's gotten to the point where I want this to be warmer. Um, I could have just done like a, uh, yeah, what do they call them? They're like a pole barn type build? Where I just ran a couple of boards and then screwed tin, you know, metal onto it. But if I did that, that'd be a really cold structure in the winter. So that's one reason that I went with the board and batten is just that it's it's solid oak, you know, it creates a good barrier. It may not be the warmest, but I'll try, you know, compared to just thin metal, it's gonna be a lot warmer. So that's the goal. So although it's, I don't know what temperature. We're gonna do that today. So here I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, just on that side. I'm gonna go get them and the way I do it, I showed this in the video a while ago. The way I do it is I run one solid board at the bottom because if you notice the old wood building, the first thing that kind of gets deteriorated is the bottom of it. So rather than having all these boards and all the battens start rotting out at the bottom, I can just pull that one board off and replace it um, if that starts to decay. And it kind of protects the integrity of all these other boards. So I'm gonna go get some that are cut. I think that's pretty much level. So I'll cut them level and then I'll just run them up and later I'll trim them. And I've got a, an idea for a transition and some other stuff coming up here um, that I'll be working on. Cause that top is gonna get enclosed too. That'll be nice. It won't be very much cold anymore. But for right now, this goes first. So, okay. super cold day. Reminds me of my homeland of Wisconsin. Um, which is cool that we only get that kind of a little bit here and there down here. So that's what I'm working on. We'll see how far we last and how much time we just hang out by the fire. And the children will be in and out of it. Um, they've been out doing chores for a little bit while I've been getting some things ready for this project. So they're not gonna need to be out here necessarily the whole time. So Pinky says it's nine degrees right now. Um, it switched from like actual snowflakes to like tiny little balls right now. Um, my lumber of course is coated in a layer, but there's layers. So I'll just dig down a bit. 
and find some boards to get started and then I get my screws and uh, we'll see how the batteries do too. Sometimes the batteries don't last as long in this type of weather, but options are limited. I have this day, even if it's a cold day, sheep are on the way and I want them to have a, a better arrival when they get here. So we do have other, uh, you know, I could move them to the goat barn, but I don't want to do too much shuffling right now. I think I'm just going to kind of keep things as they are and it's that added incentive to make the decision, okay, I'm closing them in now, even though I may add, you know, a lean-to off each side later. I'm going to close them in now and it's just going to work out better in the long term because even with a lean-to, you'll still get that wind coming through and that's not going to help, uh, you know, a fresh, wet little baby in, in sub-freezing temperatures. They do really good, you know, a lot of times. This is when they're, when they're lambing, we're really hands-off on a lot of it and they seem to do just fine. Um, some good hardy breeds, so that helps. You know, we don't need to be there with heat lamps and towels and stuff like that. So, they make it easy on us, but we're gonna make it a little easier on them too. So, because I'm dealing with that board at the bottom, I'm just gonna square up all the ends of these first before I take them back there, because there I'll be using the uh, screw gun. Here, I'll be using my worm drive, which is uh, electric. So I'm gonna have to plug it in. So I'm gonna cut all these first and then bring them back there. And once I get on this side, I'll see what's going on, on the back side. And I'm gonna need a runner board for the back side as well. Um, this side already has it, so. That's so awesome when your 10 year old shows up and goes, here, here's a nice cup of hot tea because you're out here working in the cold. That was great. And then I got this metal square and I got these fingertip gloves because I wore through them. And every time you touch it, because of the melting snow on your fingers, your finger sticks to the metal square. Terrible, terrible. But thankfully I still got my fingerprints, I guess. It's crazy. I haven't been out here that long since I marked them. Some of the lines I had to dust the snow off just to even see where the mark was. It doesn't look like much, but it's coming down. So I had to take a break for some of our morning routine once we got all the family assembled together and did devotions and talked about our day and some stuff like that. But now it's it's still just a dusting, but like for instance, Monster Truck brought this out a little bit ago. You know, there's snow on it. But it's still, like I said, just a dusting of snow. But this is supposed to go on for days. And here's the thing too, I know some of you might be thinking like, oh, how could you have your sheep, you know, in such a, a makeshift environment for, for lambing season? And the deal is, they'll often just run off in the woods. Now you can have a nice warm thing of hay and all sorts of stuff going on for them. I know, I'm talking about you right now. And, uh, and they'll just go off somewhere in the middle of nowhere in the woods have their babies and you'll just find them later. Since they all just ran out to greet me, I don't think there's anything going on at the moment. So I'm gonna get set up here. Ugh. Got a level. Got my screws, I'll get my stuff. And then that second brown one back there. 
Yeah. Right there. We're thinking she'll be first. That's what Pinkie Pepper was saying. Hopefully she'll throw us some doubles. She's got two, that'd be good. Uh, How y'all doing? Yeah? Hey, Lavender. So, this is gonna be a nice environment for it. It's actually pretty warm in here. Yeah, and once I uh, fill in the blanks on the wall, that'll be even better. Right, Sheep? You guys are beautiful. I just wanted to say, you really are. Thank you for being my sheep. You getting another one, Bug? Pull that little one out the bottom, right there. Or the top, whichever one's better for you. Grab it and pull. Yeah. You want me to grab this one? Okay. You grab the next one? Go, show me how fast you can get it over. Oh! Quick, get back up and grab it, go! Don't stop, don't stop! Take it all over the pile. So looking behind me now, that wall is definitely more solid. Um, this one behind me though is letting a lot, a lot of air, a lot of wind through. Um, the sheep are mostly hanging out in here right now. This should be a good place for them to lamb. And also we do have a little gate we can put across that part. It's uh, flipped around backwards right there. But if we get some mamas we can kind of keep them on one side. We have ran heat lamps out here before if we felt like we needed to. So we're just gonna kind of keep uh, keep an eye on this and see how it goes. But pretty much, I got three dead batteries right now. So I gotta go charge that up. This one was grinding down. Okay, it says it's halfway. The other ones are all the way dead. GoPro was also, what are you doing? Winding down, it's about dead. And uh, boy, my fingers have been hurting for a long time. So if you saw a bugger was helping drag some boards out with me, but once I feel, felt how my fingers were getting so cold so early, I gave him the first dead battery and sent him in um, just so he'd get out of here. I know he'll hang out with me and freeze, you know, and not really complain, but 
it's better for him to be in the house by the wood stove. So here's what this looks like. And again, using the old wood with the new wood, you do get a kind of nice two-tone uh, look to it for right now. We'll see what we do if we paint this, if we stain it, if we burn it, what happens. But then on the back here, you can see that there is a board for part of it, but not the other part. So I'm gonna need something the same distance to, to run all the way across. Um, and we are at a slope, so that's another thing. Um, I may I may have to check that because we are at a slope. So I could run something straight and then just rock around the bottom or put a second board or measure something. I don't know. But for this side, it'll be a whole handful of them too. And we'll see. But I'm going to charge some batteries and warm up myself. And then the cool thing too, when we moved the chickens out here, our meat chickens, last fall, um, that encouraged us to kind of make it predator-proof. We didn't need it predator-proof before that because you're not really going to have... Um, raccoons or possums or stuff attacking your your sheep um, so I didn't really need that but then when we switched over to the meat chickens we needed to up the game so we added some stuff on her on it to make it better and now with this weather and lambs coming I mean look around it's cold um, now we get to kind of work on the next step so we'll see how much I get to do today but my goal is to do more than I have at least that's progress though, especially for this weather, but we don't get to control the weather, we just get to control how we respond to it. And uh, I still got stuff that needs to be done out here, so options are limited. The show must go on.
honestly guys, oh, this is ridiculous. If I breathe out my nose, it'll get my mustache hairs wet and they'll get connected to my like goatee hairs and it'll lock my mouth together. I'll have to like pull it apart really big. Also, I broke this thumb a number of years ago and uh, it's got metal in there. That gets really cold really fast. There goes Pinky Pepper. These kids, like Red Pepper here, monster truck there, he wiped out, have been uh, trying to get that wood I split inside. Uh, you know, we just depleted some of our wood supply to bless somebody. We've got the opportunity to make more, plus we've still got a pile on hand. So I made up that big pile. It's diminishing. Um, while I was waiting for batteries to charge. I don't know what the next couple days hold. So if it gets really cold, I'm not gonna wanna be out here. It is really cold, in fact, they're rebusting that water, guys. It froze over again already. But we got some happiness here. I'm gonna show you, and um, kind of excited about it. Just because, uh, as foolish as this was, meaning that's just, it's just not good weather to be working outside. There's a reason I didn't choose to homestead in Wisconsin. Winter is one of them, right, Dodge? So, I got these up here, those eight. Got another seven up there. The reason I didn't put the last one on is I'm gonna have to uh, adjust this fence. It's kind of bent out right now to fit through. And then I did just screw this up over the middle. Um, I don't wanna have to do all the cuts. I would need to to finish that part right now. So I just called it quits. Um, and this board is kind of a temporary board. I know, I say it myself, there's nothing as permanent as a temporary fix, but I just wanted it at the right level, coming across level the whole way, and I'll work on that later. I really will. But this is uh, a lot better. So that's there now, that's gonna work. I'll let you out in just a second, buddy. Trust me, I will. Uh, he's off to the side right now, because all our sheep that we want bred should be bred. And uh, you know, there's a reason they call them rams. So in here, let's check it out. Hey sheep, I know you like hanging out in here right now. That's wise. You are wise sheep. So you can see how much darker it is in here. Um, I did screw a, a board up there too. Wow. Kind of some uh, plywood particle board. Um, just to kind of stop anything coming through from that lean-to side. But all this now, you can see, there's like a hole there. And that last batten spot is open. But that's fine. That just creates a little bit of breeze. Um, but with these solid walls now, like I said, there was a reason I didn't want to do just a post and beam building with uh, with metal on it. You know, that's just not as warm. This is pretty nice. I could easily sleep out here. You know, um, I'd be sleeping in some pee and poop from these sheep. But that right there, with that solid oak building like that, and with all that hay and straw on the bottom, I could I could do it. Um, that'd be warm enough, especially shut that door. Oh yeah, he'd be snuggled up. So just trying to clear these things out. A lot of the cedar here will be burned. Um, if we have a Viking funeral, when we have butchered an animal or something and need to get rid of the rest of the carcass, um, cedar is a good hot burning one for that. The kids are, are you guys gonna finish that whole thing today? Huh? You're gonna finish that whole thing today, you guys? Whoa. That whole pile? You don't know, okay. There's not much left, wow. They're actually having a little bit of friendly competition to see who can get a load to the front porch and to the woodshed and back in the quickest. So the first couple went already and now she's going. And this is all we got left, but you know, if we we're supposed to get the snow we're supposed to get, this will be covered in snow in just a couple days. So while it's fresh split and barely has anything on it, if we can get it under cover, that's gonna be a lot better. Forgot to mention, you know how I was talking about my mustache freezing together? Yeah, it's actually all crusty icicles right now. Um, and of course, my hand sticking to the metal square, and you could see those screws just stuck to the palm of my hand at that point. Another thing that happened is I went to hold a screw in my mouth for a minute. It was about as dumb as licking a flagpole up north. Because of course, your mouth is moist and that's frozen metal and it doesn't work good. So thankfully, without ripping any of my lip or tongue off, I, uh, I got that one fixed. So at the moment, I gotta let Dodge out, but I feel a lot better about this, even though, honestly, this is no weather to be working in. You know, I think there was a time, was it last 
February or the one before. It was either in February or January, where there was two days where it was like 80 and 90 down here. Yeah, back to back in a row. So this is a little bit different, but, oh, progress, guys. It's looking nicer. Just wait, because <laughs> it takes me a long time to do everything. Just wait. All right, we'll see you next time. We'll let you know if any, uh, any lambs get born. Papa out. Thank you for watching.